How's it going? It's Tim. I'm a commercial photographer and video maker in the UK. It's kind of annoying because this week, my old favourite trainers kind of gave up the ghost, but all's not lost. This just arrived. So, let's uh, photograph some trainers. Now I'm thinking these are black trainers with reflective strips. So let's go for like a wintry, autumny scene. We'll have a reflective base on the table, maybe spill some water to create like a puddle light them in a way that hopefully picks out the reflective strips and we're going to put some light painting in as well this is a combination of studio flash photography and light painting um i'll show a bit of the edit as well and i hope you dig it right let's go For general e-commerce, obviously I photograph trainers, side on, top down, bottom up, all that. But for like promotional stuff, it's kind of cool to have them looking like they're walking or dancing. Uh, get some like 3D sort of motion in there. So I'm thinking for these, I mean, these are like quite nighttime winter trainers. They're black, they've got reflective stripes. So the plan is put them on some black glass for a nice reflection. And I think like some quite hard light, uh, you know, sort of headlight, street light sort of feel. Um, could be kind of fun. So I'm gonna grab some black glass, grab some lights, and um, let's get set up. Super happy with how these pictures are looking. I think the black reflective glass um, is giving a really nice reflection and the trainers are in a nice position, they look animated, there's some real life to them. But I want this to be like a winter scene. So I was thinking about putting some water down to have like a water ripple around the bottom of the trainers. So they're like, you know, jumping in a puddle. So let's add some water. Awesome, this is really coming together. Now when I think of like photography, night photography in the winter, I think of like street photography and long exposures. When you get the, the rear lights and the front lights of the cars dragging red and white lines sort of streaking along the streets. So I'm gonna light paint the background for this photo. Now I started trying to do it the trainers in place and then realized actually it makes sense to take them away um, and just light paint in place without the trainers um, and then we'll mat it in Photoshop. To do this, um, I've painted red and white lines on a black background on my phone um, and I'm going to use the phone as my light source. Let me grab my phone and I'll show you. Super simple, just red and white lines on a black background. You can set like a 15, 16 second exposure. Give me time to trigger the camera, get round behind the table and I can just drag my phone along. And that should give me the car light effect. Let's give it a go. Awesome. We've got photos of the trainers looking cool, sort of dancing in a puddle. We've got a light painted background. Now it's time to throw this in Photoshop and uh, make something. And I think it's be kind of special. This is, this is turning out good. Okay, uh, so let's grab a raw file of the trainers. I think the last one we took looks the best. And then here in raw, I'm just gonna set a few basics. So um, I like to use the uh, automatic setting for the profile that recognizes the camera and lens. Um, and fix any distortion and odd colours. Um, to be fair, this lens, it doesn't really distort or have any odd colours. Uh, also just check the exposure, make sure um, my blacks are a little blacker, my white balance is dead on. I was tempted to make these black and white, I really feel like if you photograph a black and white item, um, having it in colour still adds something. Just those little hints of colour um, make it look real and not black and white. Um, and then I'm going to pull the yellows down and the oranges just because uh, there's some yellow and orange reflections. There's a yellow cloth inside this trainer uh, to pad it out and hold the tongue in place. Um, and that's picking up a reflection on the little metal studs at the back. Awesome. And then we need our light painted background. So I think I'm going to go with... I think this one's my favourite here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'll just match the same exposure settings um, and colour settings as the trainers. Um, and that should be good. Okay, and now it's time to cut these trainers out. So I'll speed this up in post. Um, I've probably got a few minutes now of just carefully working around with the pen tool um, and making sure I've got a nice clean line around the outside of the trainers.
Awesome, job done. There's something really satisfying about working around with the pen tool. It takes a while, but the cutout for the mask is just, it's just so much better than Photoshop ever does automatically. Okay, with that done, we can copy and paste our light painted layer into the background. Now I'm gonna copy that, paste it, and do a vertical flip. And this is gonna be our reflection layer. So let's just move around a bit until it kind of looks right. Now we're gonna bump back the opacity, just make it a little duller, and make it look more like a reflection. I've just realized that I didn't really cut out the reflections as well. So I'm just gonna use a brush tool and just quickly brush those out. Um, in the case of the reflections and down here, it's not gonna be super accurate. As long as, you've, um, as long as you're pretty careful, nothing's glaringly obvious, it's a reflection. It's supposed to be a bit blurry, it's fine. Now these metal studs uh, inside the back of the trainers are a bit glaring to me, so I'm just gonna grab the uh, grab an extra layer, uh, paint a little black on, and adjust the opacity just to take the brightness back a bit. Now I photographed these trainers. I tried really hard to make sure that they were positioned so the uh, reflective white strips um, were on show as much as possible around the edges. Now despite that I feel like the trainers are kind of a little bit lost uh, against that black background so I'm going to put a subtle glow in. Now to do that we're just going to grab our paintbrush, soft brush, white, new layer and just paint around the edges of the trainers. And then I'm going to grab this mask here and just alt and drag to copy it across job done. Pull the opacity back a little bit. And there we are. It's a nice subtle glow uh, just to create some separation. If you stuck around this long, thank you so much. I think these look really good in the photo. I'm hyped. Now, if you like this video, hit like so that I know you liked it. And if you got this far, I mean, hit subscribe. I do a new video about twice a week with photography and video tips. Um, and I'll catch you later. See ya.